Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, October 13th, and welcome to Anthony's Comic Book Art Daily Review. So, fun thing that happened today was a guy exactly my same age walked in with a bunch of his childhood stuff. And, like, what did I read when I was a kid? I read comic books, I read mad paperbacks, I was totally into Star Trek, and uh, I've read all of these. These were great. And these, this art on here, some James Obama did, and others, like, just crazy, cool art. Look at that. Great spaceships. And here's a quiz, a quiz book, a Federation of Trivia book. Here, ask me a question. See if I can, right. uh, I am a huge first generation Star Trek fan, so... I, the first the first con I ever went to as a kid, I cosplayed as Spock, and I had a shorter, uh, uh, my best friend was a little shorter and blonde, and he went as Kirk, and me and him were Spock and Kirk, and I still have my rubber ears from that show. Okay. When does the Enterprise crew serve turkey dinner unexpectedly? When are they served it? Yep. Turkey dinner unexpectedly. Well, where's the answers? Uh, I guess I'm not as big a fan as I thought I was. <laughs> Turkey dinner unexpectedly? Thanksgiving? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Charlie X creates turkey dinners to make the crew like them. Oh, that's the very second episode that uh, ever aired. Where no man was gone before and then Charlie... Uh, no, the uh, salt creature one and then uh, Charlie X, and then where no man has gone before. Anyway, the guy had this poster from the Foom, the Storenko poster from the Foom kit, and I had this poster on my wall as a kid. I love this poster. This is really nostalgic for me. And he had some comics and some treasuries. I bought some of these. This is the best one right now. The Spider-Man, Superman crossover, and some other stuff, and then there was some pretty cool comics, some 20, 25 cent comic books, which is exactly my my era. There's the clone issue. I used to have this cover. I remember that. First Tarantula, Scorpion, Vulture. Here's a first uh, Bullseye one and two. First. Power Girl. Here's some early X-Men's. That's cool. The first Starhawk that was rumored to be, you know, the father of. Uh, here's another Starhawk. Yeah. And you know, just some other bronze stuff that's really cool. Oh, and the first Hellcat. That that was nice. So that's fun. We get a childhood collection, and it's exactly my age and my. My nostalgia zone, let's say. Uh, so let's go over some of the stuff that went up last night. So this went up. This is a Joe Kubert cover prelim to Weird War when he was uh, editing all the war books. And we got a couple childhood Fisher Price covers prelims by John Romita Sr. Pencil art to those. Those are fun, John Romita stuff, always going up. Alice in Wonderland, again, a John Romita. And then we have some more Umberto Ramos. Panel pages. This one is divided between pencils and inks, but you get, it, you get them both for the same price. Has Spider-Man on it. That's really nice. And then Craven. You know, some people collect art, and you know, filling in their collection by villains. You know, Batman fans. Oh, you got a Penguin page. You got a Riddler page. You got a Joker page. It's always about the uh, the villains with Batman fans and Spider-Man fans. You know, you get the Sinister Six. And I think is that Miles in that black costume? That's Miles. Is that Miles Connolly? Yes, that's Miles. Oh, who's this hot, hot babe, delicious, with her Inca sort of looking jewelry? Don't know, but she's hot. And then it's got Black Cat and Spider Man. 
and some stuff like that. So a bunch more Humberto Ramos panel pages are have gone up. Here's an early X Factor page with a big headed mutant. And this is really nice. The uh, Supergirl splash and an Archie cover. And Batman Nightwing page. Another another uh, Inferior 5 page that's really funny. It has Donald Duck and it has uh, uh, from the Honeymooners. Norton, yeah, Norton from the Honeymooners. Some Teen Titans, we've got to give DC. That's some uh, uh, Donna Troy, Cyborg, Raven. That's cool, it's got a lot of characters on it. Here's a John Buscema, John Buscema. All John Buscema, Punisher page. It's really nice, I love his all his, his work. And then a half splash of uh, Dick Dillon JLA with Black Canary and Green Arrow. And another Inferior 5 page. So, some quality stuff going up. All at cool, affordable prices. I pride myself on, you know, b people just being able to check out on the prices that I post on stuff. You know, no... And there's a bee that's a big fan of art. These are fun. These are going up in the next day or so. These are uh, Hagar's, and there's a collection of them. Now, most of these are by his son, but look at that. It's got a whole layout for another Hagar on the back. So i got a few of those. Sketch by Buzz, sketch by Pat Broderick, some color guides uh, from 100 Bullets. This, you know, anybody out there that needs a title for a Batman book, this is a stat from the art, from the 70s Batman logo. So if you need, I got a few of them, an actual production stat from the art for the Batman. If you have a cover that doesn't have a title, that's worth a couple hundred bucks. And this is cool. This is Dan DiCarlo. Uh, character design art for the Kool-Aid. I think it was one shot, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it a one shot? Yeah. I think it was a one shot. Somebody tried to sell me a, a 9.8 version of this for $200. Here, ask me another Star Trek question. I can't get that out of my head. Come on, come on, hurry up. Mm. When were the eugenics wars? Oh, that was um, that was right now. It was the eugenics wars. That's um, that was Khan. He was the leader of the of the of the superhumans that were uh, selective breeding. Oh my God, where have you heard that? And uh, <laughs> super steroids that made Khan and his whole ship. And then they were out on that ship for 200 years. I know this episode really well. It's of course the origin of Khan. So that was about right now, like in the year like. 20 no 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 actually it was even earlier i think it was yeah. the 1990s right so 1990s it, yep, exactly yes yep. i pulled that out yeah, so did. uh it was in the 1990s because star trek was done in the 1960s and so they thought 30 years in the future there was going to be interstellar space flight and all but then when when the enterprise comes upon that uh con ship it's it's on sublight just you know going out there and they find it. Speaking of Khan. Yeah. How great is that panel? Hmm? How great is that panel, speaking of Khan? No, that's not Khan. That's uh, Mark Leonard. That's Spock's dad. Yeah. That's Spock's dad. That's Spock's dad. <laughs> and you know, uh, oh, man, the woman that was uh, Gene Roddenberry's, I think she started as Gene Roddenberry's secretary. And then she became like the supervisor for, and script editor for Star Trek for most of, uh, uh, of the episodes. And uh, she had a uh, credit, what was her credit line? D.A., what was her last name? She just passed away and she lived in North Jersey. She lived near here. And she wrote that episode. And that, that episode was huge. That was Tower, uh, uh, Tower of Babel 
where you, they introduced Spock's uh, mother and father, and uh, you got a lot of origin stuff about Vulcan and you know how they and Sp Spock's origin. So now you got some stuff today that's cool, and uh, you know yeah. in the Pokemon category. So I, I decided to bring out some stuff that would uh, you know kind of tie up some of the other things I've showed you before. Um, so we'll start up here. These are what they call band cards. These are in Japanese, because in the English versions, they're slightly different. Um, for obvious reasons, you'll see why they were banned. So this one has a Pokemon sucking on a teat of a cow. <laughs> um, they did not allow that. This one has Grimer looking directly up the girl's skirt. They banned that in the US, which where he's looking straight up or straight ahead versus up and over at the girl. This one has Misty naked. Um, so they banned this, obviously, in the U.S. version. They made her have, they just drew in a uh, little top for her. So, you know, she was covered up. So now to tie in with some of the other stuff I explained to you in uh, some previous episodes. This is what they call a Shadowless Pokemon card from the original base set. Um, it's not first edition or else it would have this little first edition logo here, here. Um, but if you look here, see this dark black strip here? It's a shadow, what they call a shadow. Here, you do not see that. It's just a clear frame. That's Shadowless, so they were produced in much lesser quantities. Um, all base set first edition cards are Shadowless, so there's never any shadowed. You'll never see this on a first edition base set card. Um, so those are really cool. And you come down here, here's the first three uh, sets. So you had the base set, then you had Jungle, then you had Team Rocket, then you had Fossil. So that being said, um, these are jungles, with, you know, denoted by the little leaf. Um, this is a first edition Wigglytuff, which is kind of cool. They're very tough to find now, like super tough to find. Um, that's like a $40, $50 card. Uh, it's first edition. The hollow is in decent shape. It's probably like, out of a 10 scale, it's probably a 7. That was kind of cool. Then you have uh, Team Rocket. Team Rocket, this is the, the non hollow first edition Dark Charger. This is about a $100 card. That's in actually really nice shape. It's probably like an 8 uh, to a 9. Um, condition wise, it's a hundred dollar part. And you come over here, um, this is the first edition jacket, Dragonite from Fossil. Um, this is like a forty, fifty dollar card. Um, just really, really cool. This is a non hollow version. The, the hollow version is about a hundred dollar card too. And you come over here, and everybody's favorite, Pikachu. This is a first edition uh, jungle, which is the second set, right past the base set. Pikachu. And in this one, he has red cheeks. Uh oh, we have a walk in. We mm -hmm. have a walk up. Okay. Hey, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry's a customer. Every day he comes in, brings some stuff for sale. What do you got today, Jerry? I got the, the Cinderella's. Uh... Now, if that fits, are we going to elope? Are you going to try that on me? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. What? What are you bringing me? <laughs> I came across it. What do you think? Uh, what do you okay, think so I'm... if this fits, you have to marry me. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You're gonna take me away. Yeah. With all your money, all you and your, all your money, I'll marry you. Yeah. That's that's a conversation piece. You could use that. Yeah, bit. you can talk about how you want to try it on and what drink out of it. Well, come on, you want to make a package deal? Yeah, here package deal. What is this? It's a giant shoe for some transvestite in the club. On the back, right? Oh my God. Made in China, <laughs> wine wine hold the wedding. That's what it is. A wine, but you put, I guess oh, you put a bottle, a bottle holder. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's what it says on the. So you got me a crazy shoe wine holder. Maybe my wife might like that, but she doesn't like dirty stuff that's found in the. And then you got uh, uh, two nickels, a half dollar, yeah, all uh, three junk. nickels. All, all, all I do is bring him junk. See. Yeah. And all I do is shortcake you, right? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, you got ten dollars in coins and that thing. What do you want for that thing? Give me twenty dollars for everything. Never oh mind. Oh my God, that's that's twenty dollars. I'll never get back. Yeah, yeah. Twenty dollars. I'll on never TV get back. Here. You will be. Yeah. You have to say it's okay. Is it okay that you're uh, doing a deal on well, camera? Well, I get royalties, you know. Yeah, what? Ro this is your royalty. <laughs> this is your 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 show paid appearance. Twenty dollars. That's the twenty dollars. I'll never get that. You put a, a little wine. Look at it. Perfect. You put a little wine bottle or something. Oh my God. Come on, let me get out of here. Right here. All right. I'll gladly pay twenty dollars Wednesday for this deal today. What do you mean Wednesday? What, what, what? I don't have $20 on me. You want to hear it? A man of your caliber, you're broke. 
Yeah, there, there, there you go. Oops. There you go. All it's right, funny Jerry. around like it's All right, Jerry. Yeah. I don't know why I'm All so right. good to you guys. You don't know why. That's right. You I'll love me. You bring me this slipper. You want to try it on and elope with me. Yeah. Too good to you. Okay. It's bring funny. me silver, Jerry. All right. All right. I'll do it. All right. Uh, Jerry's coming back. Yeah, nice. What do you got, Jerry? Look at this. Adjustable. Oh, yeah. That's a hurricane? I don't know what, what it is. Don't they call it a hurricane? <laughs> look, look at this. Now, why do you want to sell that when any day you could really need it? Not me. Don't worry about me. Don't I, worry about you? Remember, man, with you all. I, I actually had one of these when I got in a car wreck because I was, uh, I was lumping around. Are you sure? You want to sell this? Yes. What happens if you need it? Don't worry, Bobby. I'll, Bobby, I'll, I'll, there's nothing wrong. How much? Your pockets there. A cane? Huh? So a cane, loved you once, love you still, always have, always will. Yeah. Is talking that, to me? Is yeah. it, it, you're talking to me. Yeah. Are you, is that your ode to your affection for yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. That's why I'm so good to you. I have never walked away from him saying, no, I want more. He always gets me. No, that's not true. Yes, it is. You left earlier today. You just don't even remember. Yeah. You walked out on me earlier today. Oh, Jerry. Come on, let's go. Yeah. And this Cinderella slipper. Well, that's probably a $20 thing, right? The cane. Oh, a package deal here. You, I already paid for the Cinderella slipper. Yes. You take another ten dollars? All right, come on, let me get out of here. Pay the man. Oh, the banker, huh? Oh, yeah. He rubs up, he rubs up your money. The big sport with your money, huh? That's yeah. big as, that's big as. That's yeah, Anthony. I just you. write the checks. Yeah. Okay. All right, Jerry, I gotta get, all, I gotta get back to business Go now. All right, I'll leave you alone. I don't want to help you. Okay, folks, this is, the CGCs that are new this week that we're going to put on our eBay store on auction format. Unless you hit me up and want to pay our mark price. If you want to pay the mark price direct, we'll sell them to you. So it's like a claim sale. We're starting to do it. We've got a couple hours to do it before they go on auction format on eBay on the eBay store and they'll be on a five-day auction format for Sunday so we have a really nice Avengers 1 presents very well for a 3 -0. gonna go in order of value and these first appearance ones we have a well the Avengers 1 we're asking 2500 for then a Hulk 181.45, we're asking $2,500 for. Okay. And the first Harley 9.4, asking $1,000 for. First Silver Surfer 4.0, asking $1,200. This is fun. Just got this yesterday. It's an FF3. Signed by Stan Lee, Signature Series, from 2012, we're asking 22 hard. Another first appearance, NYX, first X23, $930. First appearance, Sergeant Rock. Super hard book. It's very hard book because it's very anonymous that he was the, this was his first appearance. It's not him on the cover. It's a, uh, it's you know, just a common war book that was. They're always in low grade. I think I've had five of them in my life, and maybe one was a two five, and the other ones were one five and two zero. Then we have Kid Comics number three. Timely. Again, super. Is that a Schoenberg cover? Yes, yeah. it is a Schoenberg cover. It's got their friend on it that uh, you know isn't very uh, politically correct anymore, but. This is nice. 
a signed signature series Todd McFarlane Spidey 300 newsstand edition. We have the first Beta Ray Bill, Walt Simonson. I think what was this like two something? No, 175. And then a couple Golden Age books. We got a Frankenstein from Prize. We have priced at 500. Really nice 70. We have a Dark Mysteries pre-code horror book. Where's my friend, Mikey? Mikey, do you want this one? Mm -hmm. Now this, uh, this, this like yeah, this is the second appearance of Crypto. 170 dollars doesn't seem like enough, but. And this is a crazy old comic book. This is like uh, about adventure. It started, it, it changed titles. Yeah, and this is probably number 10 or so in the adventure. And it's 1939. And uh, there's a page missing. And it's only a 0.5. So it's $499. And then this one's a, a funny one. This is Supergirl. And it's it's considered an innuendo cover that she's throwing this cannon that looks like a male phallus. So that's what we're offering. Now, like I said, if you hit me up and want to pay these mark prices direct before they get to eBay, but before they get to eBay, because once they're listed, we do not end the auction listing. But if you hit me up before they get to eBay, and pay the mark price, we'll do the deal. Just direct payment through PayPal is fine. So, I'm Anthony Snyder, Anthony's comic book art, and this is Anthony Connolly. Connolly. Goes by Connolly here because there can only be one Anthony. But uh, keep calm and keep collecting, and that's our daily review for the day.